I'm Christine Mason. I'm the Director of Farm Operations at the Standard Process Farm. And today we're enjoying a blustery day at the farm in the fall to look at some red beets. These red beets have already been topped. And so we make two very distinct products at Standard Process with red beets. We have a beet leaf goal and you can imagine um, the phytonutrients in a leafy green are totally different than the phytonutrients in a deep red root. And so these have been topped once. We've harvested a beautiful, um, about 25,000 gallons of beet leaf juice. And now um, next week we'll come and top them so that there's absolutely no tops left with a big brush. A lot of farmers in America use herbicide, but we do it with a brush. We'll get all the leaves off these roots and then all that's left to do is to harvest these beautiful red beets for standard process. And um, it's a beautiful, crop of red beets. These are Wonder Tall Tops and we're very proud of the crop this year. I'm Sarah Lebrun Blaschka. I am the Director of Clinical Nutrition and Education at Standard Process and today we are talking about beets. The cool thing about Standard Process is that we really utilize the whole plant. And so we use both the leaf and the root. Um, but we're gonna to focus today talking about the root. So the root of the beet is where we get a lot of its powerhouse. And beets can be multiple colors, but the key beet you think of is red. It has many different effects in the body. It can help with something called NF-kappa B and NERF-2. And so these are both antioxidant pathways. But one of the key things that beets do is they help with the methylation process. So those are all a bunch of big words, right? But the thing that really we think about is that they have a real um, effect in the body and how we manage both um, the antioxidant effects and the inflammatory effects. Um, to make sure that our body functions well. All those things is what makes beets such an important element of a whole food diet. 